Okay, we're going to find the roots of a cubic function, and I've picked a certain one just to point out some differences in how these calculators handle it. So again, we're going to go into menu, down, down, over. This time we're doing a polynomial of the third degree. So we go in there, and we're going to put in our coefficients of 1, x cubed, 20, x squared, 132x, 288 for a constant. We hit equal again. It says x1 is negative 8. If we hit equal again or hit the down arrow, x2 is negative 6. And our third root, huh, how odd. It doesn't list the third root. It just gives you two roots. It's because one of those is a double root. But you don't know which one on the Casio. All right. Let's look at the TI here. Same problem. Shift, polysolve. We're going to pick two because that's a cubic. Put in our numbers. One. I hit clear. 20 for x squared. Clear and 132 for x. Clear and 288 for our constant. Solve. First root is negative 8. Second root is negative 6. Third root is negative 6, so the TI reveals the double root. I haven't done this on the sharp, or I haven't done it ahead of time, so I'm not sure what it will do. So let's do this one here. So we go into mode. 6 is the equation. We're doing a cubic, so I hit 3. And we have 1x cubed, 20x squared, 132x, and 288 for a constant. Negative 8 negative 6. So, interesting. It only gives you the two roots, like the Casio. So those are both roots, but you don't know which one is the double root. Um, so, TI is our winner of this round.